Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is another day of Montana harvest on the farm. We're starting a little bit later because we had to get the AC fixed in this combine that Trevor's closing up right now. You excited for another day of harvest? Oh, so excited. It's gonna be the best. here with Katie and this stuff. It's pretty fire up here. Pretty views, big sky of course. Now we just finished with lunch and I'm in the combine. So I'm waiting for my dad to dump in the truck and then we'll be starting in this field which is a mile long and a mile wide. So it's a full section and a section is 640 acres. I'm gonna turn the AC up. Trevor must be happy to have AC. My dad pulled two passes out of this field before lunch so that the trucks would have somewhere to park. Now I'm slowly moving the combine. I'll follow my dad in and pick the swap next to his, signaling Trevor to come with. Dad, where am I starting? You got a copy, Kate? Yes, do you have a copy? Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, you see where I am? Yeah. Come down this far and take the two rows on the north side, you and Trevor. Now I'll get these trucks somewhere to turn around and hang out. Okay. You can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Did you hear what I said? I did. So I'm coming down now. Thank you. Now I just wrapped up the combine because it's probably been heated for long enough. Waiting for the green cart, and I don't want to catch up to him. 
I'm also pretty full. Here's a look at the inside of the grain tank. There's my dad over there. So I'm pretty full and here are the windows I look at to tell if I'm really that full. Because it's taking quite a while for the grain cart to come, I thought I would show you what the outside of the combine looks like and the wheat swath. So I'll come down the ladder here. We have my dad's combine right here. Mine, I've just lifted the header and shut the machine off. And then I've got it idled down on turtle speed. Here's the wheat swath. And as you can see, we've just got tons of wheat rows here. This one seems to have a few more weeds in it, but overall they look really good. Trevor's combine's over here, and then this is me in the middle. Usually the wheat swath is very big and poofy when it's first on the ground, and then it settles. And as you can see here, this is a part that I picked up. So the combine does a really, really good job at leaving no wheat behind. I mean, you've got a few kernels here that are just on the ground, but other than that, it's looking quite good. And then if you go to the back of the combine, you'll see that straw is blown out and chopped up here by what are called straw choppers. And it just leaves a row of straw. And then if the straw choppers weren't on the back of the combine, then it would leave the full straw and it could be baled and used in livestock operations as bedding or something else. Now my dad's something in the green car and it will be my turn very, very soon, hopefully. He had to turn around a little bit to make sure he was dumping fully in the car. What is it? 17. And what's your uh, gap on your um, rotor? Six. My row just ended. Do you want me to pick up the next? One or row down or how should I do this? Were you at the end where we went and picked up that stuff, Jade? No, it just randomly ended. Okay. Um, we want all the swaths gone up to that swap uh, Trevor went, you know, so there's probably another one in there somewhere, right? Okay, sounds good. Well, wait till I get back to the, to the corner. We, we, you need to be totally empty when we start these runs so I can figure out how No, I think I found the rest of the paths here. I don't know for sure, though. There's these skinny passes. I got one on my right, too, that I should pick up. No, this isn't even like a half row pass. It just completely ended here for quite a while. And then now it's just starting up, and it's super light, and then it gets a little denser. You're doing that outside round, then? Yeah, I wasn't on the outside round, but I guess I am now. The second to outside, yeah. Well, that was real green and just thin and icky. Yeah, I think I may have figured it out. Thank you. Yeah, I think you gotta wait till I come back. If we gotta keep these together, or we'll never get carded and dumped. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes sense. That's so strange. My row just disappeared for maybe 200 feet, and then now all of a sudden it's back again. It really did confuse me momentarily there. Yeah, this is just a little tiny half path, not even a row. It has ended here again. I don't know where my dad went, though, is the only thing. It just ended up being one of those little partial passes. Where are you, Dad? Can I just dump in the truck? Yeah, you can dump in the truck, but you still gotta wait because we gotta keep the combine together, or otherwise this won't work. All right, sounds good. You'll have to dump in the other truck because he's dumping in mine and he'll have a fill. Okay, thank you. Now I'm pulling up to where the grain cart and trucks are. I'll probably just wait until the grain cart finishes unloading so that I'll have more room to put the wheat in the truck. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. I've had some issues with this in the past. Now I'm putting my auger away and I'll come to this end of the field and wait. Now Trevor will unload in the truck and my dad should be coming around any time now. I'll take as much of this as I can. You see them two outside rounds to your left? That runs all the way down to them power poles. So these two passes that go all the way around and then 
having a little harvest snack and it's called harvest cheddar which is kind of funny dad's taking the outside pass and i'm just following trevor down now gotta wave at trevor and dad i'll get ready to start my road here turtle speed back with the combine on header rabbit speed push button two to lower the header automatically and off i go i've been really having to watch my return auger because up so fast and I'm only going 2.4 miles per hour so everyone's been passing me which has just not been fun at all. I opened the bottom sim up to 9 which is how close together the piece of the combine is that separates the wheat. Yeah that helped quite a bit. Now I'm not. The return's not going up nearly as dirty right on the window but other than that like in the actual tank it's looking really good. Lucas, pull that tractor ahead so he can dump in you and not have to go back for you. Don't come up here, just pull straight ahead. Lucas is having a tough time figuring out the green car. If we were doing this right, you'd be dumping him on the go right now. And when you were done with him, you'd come up behind me and dump me on the go. Watch that return auger. 
Oh, actually, my dad's pulling another pass right there, so he's not going to dinner quite yet either. Are we stopping for dinner this round? Uh, we're going to eat. I'm just mixing some of this green this stuff on the edge to see if it's green or not, okay? Okay, sounds good. Jim, do you want to stop for supper, or do you want me to fix you a something for the Okay. Yeah, I'll just take my plate. I don't need to stop. Yeah. If that's okay. We won't spend too many roadies with your car. All right. If you do it, tell me because it'd be the first one. It's front wheel drive. Now Lucas is coming back out so I can unload in him. I just got the grain tank full buzzer. It does look like I'm pretty full of wheat. Definitely got to unload. Now I'm going to pick my header up, rode over to the grain cart, which isn't too far away, just right up here. It does look a little bit maybe dirtier, although it's hard to tell. My wheat is still very clean. So opening up the sieve wasn't that much of an issue. So now I'm just taking off the last bit of this pass here. It's not too much, but it does help a little bit because my dad's not back yet and yeah, it just works out better. Now I'll idle my combine down and just wait a moment until it cools off and then I'll shut it down. Our other red truck is coming back out to the field right now. We just finished dinner and now the combines are going to start harvesting again. Now we are finished for the day. The sun is starting to set and I'm just roading my combine to where we started this morning in the summer follow field because that's where all of the trucks are. And then my dad is just finishing up one pass. I think Trevor's right behind me. And we'll be done for the day, so that's super exciting. Today was a really good day. We didn't even really hardly make a dent in the field. It is such a massive field, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get a bit further in it. And then we might finish it either, probably in two days. Hopefully at least. It looks like I spilled grain on my roof, so I overflowed a little bit. Now I finished for today. How was the day, Trevor? Sweet, loved it. You had fun? fun? AC got fixed today, so. You must be enjoying that. Yeah, I'm loving it. Do you want to come say bye? Sure. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Of I'll do all that, do all that. Very important, very important stuff. Okay, bye. Bye.